what interests and hobbies should a person have if they're wanting to pursue this career? I would say interest and hobbies. I think uh, certainly as an interest, it should be something to where you're interested in helping people and working with people. Uh, in our field, if, if you're not willing or able to meet with people and, and, and have dialogue uh, with, with clients, then it's, it would be an, very challenging to be able to, to, um, to do this, this role in our community. As far as a hobby, I don't know. I think just your, your ability to learn and uh, always be learning and, and getting out and meeting people. What is the most challenging part of your career? Uh, probably the most challenging part of our career is is uh, the stress and the pressure of um, of helping helping clients long term and realizing that there are some things that we can't control uh, when it comes to when it comes to the market and and uh, just life in general sometimes. What is the most rewarding part of your career? I'd say definitely the most rewarding part of our career is realizing that we're helping people uh, meet their financial goals, retirement, and, and to be able to, to help make an impact in how they, how they live their lives. Are you happy with your career choice and why? Uh, I am happy with my career choice because I, I think from the longest time frame I've always wanted to to help people and be in a position where I can make a difference in their lives and uh, to me that's that's very rewarding and and uh, allows me to to be in the community that I live and enjoy seeing people out on the streets at the same time. What happens in a typical day in your position? Uh, generally what happens in a typical day is uh, I'm on the phone quite a bit with, with clients or potential clients talking to them about, uh, about their financial goals. I'm also meeting with, with uh, a lot of new clients or a lot of clients on a regular basis. And uh, we're, we're just discussing life in general and, and how their investments uh, and uh, savings uh, help them uh, with their long-term goals. What skills are required to do your job? Uh, I would say skills certainly is being able to communicate well with people and uh, being a people person. And you know, like you were saying, Kale, you know, being a uh, having a math interest and. And uh, if you're not good with numbers, if, if that's not something that you enjoy, then this certainly is not, is not an opportunity for, for someone. What preparation or education was required for your position? In my position, when I came on about 11 years ago, uh, I had a, an associate's degree, but I also had uh, probably about 10 to 15 years of just working with people. Um, on the one-on-one uh, -on -one. so between personal loans between insurance and now I think that you know our firm is is looking at um, not a whole lot of difference but they would like to see people with uh, bachelor's degrees and uh, instead of an associate's degree but also have some experience is important to them I mean we used to hire people directly out of college I think we've slowly gotten away from that a little bit because we realize that a lot of people just are not quite ready um, for this yet. Where did you receive your schooling or training? So uh, schooling, uh, Edison Community College out of Piqua was my, uh, where I got my associate's degree in business management. And uh, experience, I worked for uh, as a district manager of a rent-to-own business and a, uh, a manager managing people as far as employees as well as uh, customers in a company called American General Finance uh, for about six years.
Are there and were there opportunities for promotions in your field? Um, in our field, yeah, I would say there definitely is opportunities for promotions and advancement. Depending on, really, it just depends on what you want, what you want to achieve. If you want to live in the same community that you're in, I mean, there's tremendous opportunities to, to continue to grow your business and to be your own boss, uh, which can be good or bad depending on who you are and if you're a workaholic or if you uh, enjoy your downtime. I think there's tremendous opportunities. Locally, what is the opportunity for employment for this career? I think there's tremendous opportunity, not just locally, but uh, around the country. I think, you know, as we have baby boomers continuing to age and get older, there's a tremendous need for, for people to work with them. And uh, a lot of the, the changing in the rules and regulations that are coming down probably have really pushed a lot of people in our, in our position to go into something else out there, into a different position. So there's a tremendous amount of opportunity to, to work with people. Uh, on a financial side. If you could go back and redo something as it pertains to your career, what would that be and why? I think that I certainly would have came, um, came to at least attempt to work at Edward Jones before I did. You know, knowing what I know now, knowing the opportunities, uh, I I definitely would have looked up Edward Jones before, uh, before I did. What is the range of pay from starting out to nearing retirement for someone in this field? I believe it just really depends on how long you've been in the business and really depends on how long you've been in the business and how much work you're willing to put into it. Probably a starting salary for for this field would probably be between fifty to seventy thousand and quite frankly could be up to gosh, for some of our representatives between three to four hundred thousand dollars a year. What benefits are offered to someone in your position? I think the some of the larger benefits certainly are health insurance, uh, all those types of benefits like that. But I think some of the larger benefits are we're one of the few firms that we're a limited partnership. So we have an opportunity that as we grow with our firm that we can be part of the firm and we can be part of the uh, organization, which allows us to be able to be compensated that way. And I think that's how we're unique compared to almost any other financial uh, financial firm on the market today. What kind of impact does your career have on your personal and social life? That's a good question. The in some ways it's it's uh, it's allowed me to, to get to meet and, and associate with people that I probably wouldn't have associated with 10 or 15 years ago. At the same time frame, you do have to be real careful when you're handling and working with, with clients that you're confidential with information, as well as the fact that you're, you're in the public eye all the time. So you have to realize that you have to, you have to act as a professional at all times and the way that you represent yourselves outside the office is just as important as inside the office. So it, 